Hi, Arigi Boy, Arigiboy.com, and today I'm going to present you the most amazing monopod I've ever tried and tested. Uh, yeah, I've tested many tripods, monopods, all this, uh, but m even more amazing, it's his name. So it's made by Siri, and the friendly name is SVM, but the technical name is get ready, sit down, take a piece of paper, something to write down, okay? Rapid system, one step height adjustment modular monopod. Who? This is a fiber, uh, carbon fiber uh, monopod, so I'm going to speak about it. So let's start. It starts raining also, so phew. okay, let's start. When I saw the weather this morning, I thought it's going to rain. Eric, start recording the demo first, then introduction if you have time, and then the rest uh, at the office, okay? And I was right. So uh, yeah, I saved just in time to have the, the uh, outdoor with the demo, okay? And now I'm going to tell you uh, the technical side of it and the data and everything it can do, okay? So why do I say that for me, this is the best monopod I've ever seen? Well, basically because uh, first, it's really fast to use. You, you will see that. And second, I had some other monop monopod in the past. Well, I still have them, but they were not they were not that sturdy and not uh, really fast to use. So uh, at the end, very often I didn't bother to use them, okay? And uh, what we many of, of us do is to use a tripod that you can actually uh, remove one of the legs and use it as a monopod. You just change the, the, the head from, uh, one, uh, from the tripod to the monopod and then you have a monopod. But still, this, this uh, way is okay. It can save you uh, some money and some situation that saves you but it's not as sturdy, normally the legs are a lot thinner, all this. This one is thought as a monopod from start to, to, to end, okay? So it's really uh, thought for that. Second, some people ask, who is a monopod for? Why do I need that? Just one, one leg, what is that for? Well, there are some kind of picture, you want to have a freedom of movement, but still control that uh, the camera is not moving this way. So uh, this is the case, for example, when you do some panning like this, okay? Having uh, this uh, movement controlled, that will save uh, you from having more blurred pictures. So that's good, okay? Some uh, things like some sport photography, like football, for example, you're on the side of the football field and actually you want to make, uh, to have some freedom of movement, but it's going to be a long time, like 90 minutes or sometime more and uh, you want to have help with the weight of your camera so having something to rest and still control movement it's really really good and there are some situations where you cannot use a tripod like barcelona in spain new york city in the states you are not allowed to have a tripod without any authorization so having just one leg yes it's possible so in this situation I know you will not be able to drop speed as much as with a tripod but that does help a lot and you can use it so this is why I think a monopod is still useful for many people and this one is great I'm going to show you give you some technical uh, details and show you a demo of what you can do with it okay as you can see it's really easy to open you just uh, twist uh, the grip okay and then it opens you uh, stop where you want and twist back in the, other, the other way okay and then that locks it so really easy and then if you look at the bottom, you have uh, three options. One is to use as a standard monopod uh, with the rubber end. But if you uh, screw the rubber, end, uh, the rubber end, then you get a metal uh, peak, as you can see. So if you're on uh, something like this parking lot or some sand or whatever, maybe it's better than the rubber. So you can get it out and do it. And you also have the possibility to open the three legs, small legs, okay? I don't know legally uh, if you can still call it a monopod if you open this in New York City, I don't know, okay? But still, so be aware, if you open the three legs, it's not great stability. You still need to be next to your monopod, okay? Uh, don't go away thinking the camera will not fall if there's some wind, okay? So honestly, be next to it, okay? That's normal. The size is really uh, not really wide, okay? So that's logical, okay? So why do they call it modular? As you can see, all the tube can be separated, okay? So you can actually uh, separate the head, separate the tube, separate the legs, and then that uh, allows you to have like uh, two monopods and two a mini tripod in one, okay? Uh, actually, if you look at uh, as a monopod, you can use it as you see, or you can actually use an extension tube, and this extension tube allows you to have it a lot higher. 
if you remove everything, uh, I mean, remove the extension tube and separate everything, I should say, the small three legs, then you could place your uh, uh, plate uh, directly on there. And it allows you to have a really, really small tripod really uh, next to the floor. So that's really practical if you want to do some uh, macro or some take close to the floor. Or you can use the extension tube and get it a bit higher. That's also possible. So as you can see, you actually have a lot of options. So this is a great feature to be able to separate and uh, build it as you need uh, on the fly really fast. As you can see, uh, you can have the plate directly there and screw the camera on it. Or you can actually use a normal head. Okay, In this case, I've got a video head with a small stick. You can actually remove it. But you could put another uh, photography head, whatever you want. Okay, so this is really great because uh, you uh, have several ways of using it. And as you can see, as it is so modular, I can actually remove the small screw that goes in the uh, uh, head or in the camera. I remove it and then I turn it back. In this way, as the diameter is different for a plate than for a camera on every tripod normally, okay. Uh, it's thicker for uh, the base of the tripod, of the, of the head, okay, uh, on a tripod than on going to a camera, okay. So I just turn it around and that's it. So, and use it as I need. So I really like that uh, you can actually separate everything and use it as you need. So now I show you uh, some uh, demo, okay. Uh, Maybe I will write something on it, I don't know. But as you can see, uh, how it works, the possibility, the head, how it is, all this. And then I tell you some technical data. Let's carry on. It exists in two sizes, 145 centimeters and 165 centimeters, plus an optional extension tube of 30 centimeters. I always say that when you pick a tripod, don't decide depending on your height, but on the type of picture you want to make, because maybe you uh, want to be uh, next to the floor or really high, it all depends, okay? But in the case of a monopod, it's really different because you actually need to have some movement to be comfortable, all this. So yes, in this situation, it's important to pick according to your size. So the one I have is 145 centimeters and 175 high. So I had to lean a bit, but that's normal. I could actually put the extension tube and not open fully the, the main leg. Okay, that's what would be a, possible, a possibility. So but pick the one according to your height, okay? The heads you uh, can use with a head or without. As you can see, you can screw directly on the base plate, so that's fine. Depends what you want to do. It's really resistant from minus 30 degrees Celsius up to plus 70 degrees Celsius. It means uh, you can actually use it in North Pole uh, in winter or in the Sahara in summer. That's great. It can bear up to 35 uh, kilos vertically or 25 kilos when it's uh, sideways. This is theory, as they recommend to use maximum 10 kilos, okay? But uh, 10 kilos nowadays, how many cameras and lens weight over 10 kilos? <laughs> Not that many, okay? So that's fine. As you can see, when I open the three legs, sometimes I still want to uh, be able to uh, put it sideways, uh, yeah? Mm. Uh, not have it vertical, okay? So it is possible up to 36 degrees. So there is a small uh, ball head or ball foot, I would say. I don't know how you say, okay? And you can actually uh, move side uh, to side. So actually, if you want to make a half circle, you could and keep the same distance from the floor. If you're recording video, for example, you want to do like some special effect, you actually could. It is carbon fiber, three section leg, and uh, 
many people think that uh, you use carbon fiber for weight reason. Actually, for it's more uh, for a lack of lack of flexibility. Uh, it's a lot more rigid. Okay, and the tube are 36 millimeter, 1.4 inches wide. So the diameter. So this is really really sturdy, really good. If we speak about the weight, the 145 centimeter high is 1.49 kilos and the 165 centimeters is 1.52 kilos. The extension tube is only 170 grams, okay? And when it's closed, completely retracted, uh, the small one, which is not, it's not that small, but the small one is 75 centimeters and the tall one is 82 centimeters. And as I said, the maximum load is uh, advised is uh, 10 kilos so as you can see it's really really great quality it has nothing to do with the leg you can actually get out of a tripod and uh, use it as a monopod which that can help you and save you in many occasions but this tool is for people who really need a good monopod in most of the picture or often like uh, sport photography places where you cannot use a tripod uh, kind of picture with panning and they need some movement all this so this is a tool for them the, this is not just to use uh, once a year this is really for people really need it and this is thought with top 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 quality this is incredible one thing they indicate in the uh, website is also that uh, they did a salt water test 48 hours to see if there is some corrosion I know it works because I got a friend Gregory Oduber who actually used theory uh, uh, tripod every day in salty water in uh, Noirmoutier in, in France, okay, and he never cleans it. It takes several years before you start to see a problem, okay, several years. Actually, if he cleaned it every day with sweet water, that would be no problem, okay, but still, so what I say, it's resistant, I know it's true, okay. Second, uh, they actually uh, tested the way, the lock, 1000 times to see if it was getting uh, damaged whatever and no no problem whatsoever so it's really solid really sturdy really a great 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 product obviously for people who need it if you don't have the use of a monopod that's not for you okay so if you know someone who needs it we can say yeah that's a good product so if you are this kind of uh, photographer that would use or needs a, a monopod you can yeah Completely recommendable. Great product, great solidity, fantastic, okay? No problem. So if you're interested, I'll leave you a link in the description where you can buy it. So thank you so much, Siri, for sending me the monopod. Thank you to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the small button down here, and also a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, erichipo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. I'll also leave you links of my gear on Amazon, links of everything I reviewed by KF Concepts and Morgan and Flushes by Westcott, more affiliated links, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.